So you're thinking about investing in some whey protein, but your mom or your dad or your brothers or your friends are saying it's not natural, it's not right, it's steroids, you're gonna, you know, get small balls, you're gonna be, all, I mean, all these excuses, all these weird things that you've, uh, that you hear. So in this video, we're gonna be debunking all that. We're gonna be going ingredient by ingredient exactly what this particular protein has. Because this particular protein, well, I'll save at the end of the video why I chose this protein. See you guys in a bit. It's your boy, Nature Boy, and welcome back to another video. Before we can get into the ingredients, we first have to identify what whey protein is. So, what is whey protein? Whey protein are pretty much milk. Seriously, these powders are from milk. You see, when milk is uh, processed to make cheese or yogurt, there's leftovers. And that leftovers is whey protein. Here's a picture of it. So is it natural? Yes, of course it is. It's coming from milk. All right, now that we briefly identified what whey protein is, let's get to the ingredients. The whey protein that we're gonna be using is the Optimal Nutrition 100% uh, whey protein isolate. Um, I'll say the reason why at the end of this video. But we're gonna go based on these ingredients. The first ingredient on the list here is protein blend, which consists of whey protein isolates, whey protein concentrates, and whey protein peptides. Let's start off with whey isolates, the cleanest of them all. Now, whey isolates is cleaner, and it's the cleanest actually out of all of them because they process it and they filter out the carbs and the fats out of it. While whey protein concentrates goes through less processing and therefore it doesn't get or remove or filter out the carbs and the fat, which is why whey protein isolates are generally more expensive than whey protein concentrates. Now the main difference between a, a whey protein isolate and a whey protein concentrate, pretty much one is cleaner than the other. So a whey protein isolate is a cleaner version of protein and uh, things like isolate, like this one is a whey protein isolate. And the other one, you've heard of terms, it's called dirty protein or it's a dirty version of it, which is whey protein concentrate because it has the carbs and, uh, and uh, fats. Those are used for mainly to gain weight. Whey protein isolate is main is ma main use is to just protein. That's it. It's not caring about fats. It's not caring about uh, uh, carbs. It's mainly protein overall, just to meet your protein needs. While whey protein concentrates focus heavily on you know gaining weight, things like serious mass or a weight gainer uses heavily a lot and lots of whey protein concentrates. That's the difference. Whey protein peptides are pretty much strings or threads of amino acids, and it's pretty much what builds proteins in your body. So although in this protein powder we have whey protein isolate, it seems like it's been using a blend of this. It's not mentioning how much portion of each of these whey proteins is being used, but we can assume that the whey protein isolates have been used more than the whey protein concentrates because in every ingredients in any food supplement or any food uh, ingredients that you look at, it goes from top to bottom from how much they use from less. Like for example, here it says protein blend and it says whey protein isolates. You can say that whey protein isolates has more of it in it than the others. The next ingredient here is cocoa made from Achille. Now this is not a natural source of uh, cocoa powder because this type of cocoa powder is Dutch processed, meaning that um, it's processed in a way reduces the acidity. Now this is used in particular because it can mix well with your water. Regular cocoa takes a bit while, so they use a Dutch process instead. So overall guys, it's just cocoa powder. Don't worry, nothing more, nothing less, just processed cocoa powder. That's it. Lysium is a fat molecule that allows it to be dissolved in water. Pretty much how it's processed is that they get a soybean and they separate the oil and the proteins. Then they remove the lysium from the oil. And this lysium is put in this whey protein powder because of one big reason. And that is because of the shelf life. A lot of foods that you guys see on shelves has soy lithium on it. And that's because it boosts the shelf life for a couple months. Like for example, if it's six months, they can make it into nine months or nine months to 12 months and so on and so forth. So here they also use natural and artificial colors. I'm sure we all know what that is. All right, next ingredient is acesoflame potassium. Now what this is, is that this thing has no nutrients. It has no calories. It's pretty much a sweetener. This ingredient is about 200 times more sweeter than sugar. And it's used to give foods taste, a better taste, without adding any unnecessary calories. This, there's no calories. I mean, this thing is processed in a way that doesn't add any calories. But 
it gives you good taste. This is one ingredient here that is kind of fishy to me, but hey, it has no calories. So what can you really complain about? And I guess without this ingredient here, protein shakes would be very high in calories because they would have to use regular sugar. And if they don't, it'll be very, very bland and not tasty at all. Next up is Aminogen. Aminogen is a natural enzyme that helps your body digest proteins. What this ingredient pretty much does is that it breaks down proteins so you don't become constipated. Because we all know if you eat a lot of proteins, we all can get constipated. And the last ingredient here, guys, is lactose. And lactose is already found in milk. And obviously, milk whey protein is a source from milk, so it would have it as well. But lactose also is an enzyme that helps digest lactose. That's pretty much what it is, guys. Oh no, it has lactose? Oh no, I'm lactose intolerant. I should not have this. Guys, relax. If you guys can eat a yogurt, a small servings of yogurt, you'll be okay with this. Lactose is the last ingredient here, so there's not much in here. One scoop won't do anything to you. Relax. If you guys can have yogurt, a small piece of yogurt, you guys can have this. All right, guys, now that we know what's inside, what the ingredients are for this particular protein powder, the reason why I picked this is because there's a lot of whey proteins out there that use ingredients that I cannot even pronounce. And personally for me, I believe that whatever I put on my body, I should know about. For example, there's some protein shakes out there that they have 50 to 60 ingredients listed on there that I cannot, which half of them that I, I personally cannot even pronounce properly. So this brand right here, Optimal Nutrition Whey Pro Protein, is a protein that I take from time to time. The days that I cannot have protein, because you can only eat so much chicken and fish in one day, I have it on those days, just to meet my protein requirements on a daily basis. The main reason why I have this type of protein on a time-to-time uh, -time basis is because the ingredients are exactly what I just mentioned to you. It's things that I understand and things that I'm, I'm okay with, I'm comfortable with, compared to the other ones that I'm not comfortable with, that they have 60 to 70 ingredients that I have, like I mentioned before, can't even pronounce the name. So I believe the shorter the ingredients there are, the better there is, and overall better for your health. I mean, why would you want to eat or drink something that has 60 to 70 ingredients compared to something that only has like 10 to 15? and it's more cleaner. So overall, this is the best whey protein isolate that I've had in, uh, I mean, this is the one that I've been using for many, many years and I'm always happy with it. It dissolves very well when I shake it with water or milk and it's just a very, it tastes very good. It has one of the best tastes out there compared to the other ones. So I highly recommend this. If you guys are interested in this, you guys can just find the link in the below. I know right now there's a lot of crazy things happening with this illness that I will not mention. So you guys can check it out. And if you guys really want to, you guys can order it through that link below. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys learned something here. Um, hopefully your parents or your mom or maybe yourself, you're more comfortable on uh, what you're putting in your body. So I hope you guys are more educated and found value in this video. And um, like this video so it can help me and I shall see you guys in the next video and subscribe. Don't forget. See you. Peace.